welcome everybody to geek ark 23 and this is amit and in today's video i have brought something special for you guys in today's video we will reveal the real power of our android os by installing a linux distro on it being as an android user have you ever dream of running a linux on it if not and if you have the desire running the one then you are at the right place our android kernel is capable enough and has a linux origin our android kernel can handle and run any of linux distros very comprehensively so without wasting any more of our time let's jump into it to get things started we have to install some of apps as they are prerequisite for the getting linux distro in action on our android operating system so the first app would be termux you will need this app on first priority so get it installed as you can see I have already downloaded it so I won't be downloading this again after installation of the termux we will need another app called VNC viewer just type as I do VNC viewer for Android just tap on the first and as you can see I have already downloaded it so I will not download it again just get it installed now we will install the third app called and Linux this is very important app this is the ch root environment on mobile which lets us install Linux operating system on our Android system as default Android doesn't let users to play with their internal functionality but with the use of termx and and Linux application we could easily install a Linux distro on our Android flavor now assuming that you have installed all of them and are ready to be able to go ahead with this tutorial. Let us open and Linux first. When you would open and or and Linux for the first time, the user interface would be like this. Just click on dashboard. Then select choose. And as you can see, there are so many flavors here that you can choose whatever you want but as a beginner i strongly recommend you that you should go with ubuntu and hit on ok make sure that ubuntu has been checked and click on ok then copy the command by just tapping on the copy button and press on launch with this you will be redirected to the termx itself before pasting anything on terminal we have to run one of the command to get termux ready for the use as you can see the command is pkg update for the package updating and upgrade this will update and upgrade your termux application be patient while doing this process because this process could take minute or two To clear the mess on terminal, there is one command in Linux that we have to type clear. This will clear the terminal. Now we are ready to paste whatever we had copied. Now make sure that you are on the dollar sign and then you should process further. So now paste the command and hit enter. This process will take minute or two depending upon your internet speed. When the root fs is downloaded it will show something like this. You just have to copy and hit enter. As you can see there is one command like start ubuntu sh. Just copy that command. Put the dot forward slash and paste the command and hit enter. Congratulations with that we have installed the Ubuntu Linux on our Android system using Termex emulator. But we are not done yet as this has no graphical interface so no fun using Linux on Android right? Don't worry for that case also and Linux has got us covered. What we have to do is just go back and open and Linux and the tap on the desktop environment. After tapping you 
should select Ubuntu as in our case. After selecting Ubuntu, it will ask for to choose a desktop environment. We will select accept C4. Then we will copy the command and hit on launch. Like in the previous steps, it will re redirect us to the Termux app. Make sure we are in the Linux operating system confirming root at the rate localhost before the hash sign on the terminal. Now paste the command that we just had copied and wait till process gets completed as this can take a longer time depending upon the processor that you have in your device. Be patient, everything goes perfect. Meanwhile, don't go away from your mobile as it would ask for the keyboard and the language preferences so you can go with the language of your choice as in my case it would be English. I hope you guys will also go for English and keyboard as English. English. If you know any other language, you can go with that option also. At last, it will ask for the password. You have to put the password of your choice and don't get fooled with the password fact that Linux hides the password for the security purpose. Confirm the password, typing it twice and you would also be presented by the local host one has started. After it gets completed, you have to copy as I do. Copy that address and create a VNC viewer. Now it's time to open a VNC viewer. Now tap on the plus sign and paste the address. And after pasting in the name, give the name of your choice. As in my case, it is Ubuntu machine, so I will go with Ubuntu. 20 now I will put Ubuntu 20 and press create for the quality purpose select the picture quality for the highest possible length select high and click on connect now it will prompt for the password now you have to type the password that you have put when creating the VNC server in my case I have typed it correct and as you can see we have successfully been booted with the desktop environment of Ubuntu 20 for the sake of your concern let me show you by opening the file manager as you can see it is showing the Linux hierarchy now we will try to update Ubuntu to its latest update. To update just open the terminal as I did and type the command apt update and then hit enter. And as you can see it has already updated when we did install the desktop environment. If you did face any difficulty following this tutorial, let me know in the comment section. I would be happy giving helping hand out there. This is it for now. Make sure you have subscribed. If not, do subscribe and hit the bell icon right now to get the latest video notifications. Bye for now. Peace out.